Hey everyone, D-Dub Squizzy here, and welcome back to Transcendence. This is it. Last one. Alright. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, this is just a, like, a random station here for your basic needs. I will take that. I don't think I can even use it, actually, at this point. I have it anyway. Yeah, no, I have nothing to use that on. So, yeah, there's a bunch of stations. The Ares won't deal with me. I'm, they might be able to, now that I think about it, if you help out, um... What are they called? The Antarctica? When it wanted to go meet with the Ares, but I'm not certain. I've never actually had those guys be helpful at all. They're always just kind of, you know, not hostile, but get away from me. You have Tycon. There should be Ringers. A Commonwealth place. I think a... What's it called? Oh yeah, the Explorer. That's the storyline thing. I know that there's a Domina place somewhere out here. Yeah, there they both are. Alright. So, the deal here is... Well, I can show you. So, that planet is where the Stargate's at. I'm on a timetable, so I'll try to make this quick. Um, basically, they can't reach it. This is where the quarantine zone is. Human space cannot progress past this system, because any attempt to results in that. All of these different research things are here to figure out a way to get past them. But the Iacrim attack anyone in this system. Over time, they'll send people to attack them. So let me find a system map. Alright. The Iacrim, I know, have several stations out in the middle of that nebula somewhere. I plan on finding and destroying them eventually, although I don't know if it'll change much. But first, I have a, some business to attend to. They're terraforming the core, or the sun. Not really terraforming, they're destroying it. These things are going to blow the place up to make sure that no one can leave. Oh, uh, that's that's an enemy. Alright, that's a Terravore. Gotcha. Uh-oh. Okay, Terravores are bad. There we go. Oh, that's... Okay, I think that's all of them. They just have a bunch of Terachnium, which I don't need. Um, basically, yeah, they feed on fuel. So, ship produces fuel, they will eat it, and they will attach to your ship and just drain things from it. They're only encountered in this system, uh, but they're a handful. Very bad news. I'm gonna have to destroy them all eventually anyway, so it's best to just get it out of the way now. They only come after you when you're close enough. I think these things are firing dark lightning, but I, I can never be certain of that. It's they're not using weapons you can get, they're just standard here. No one can access them or anything. This here is the control point for all of these terraformers. Um, but the central chamber is deserted, the entire structure seems to hum with power. Built in the walls of the chamber, you see the banks of alien machines covered in glowing symbols. So yeah, you can't really interact with it at all. I'm just trying to blow up all the terravores. They used to be a game ender. You could accidentally save with the terravores on your ship, because they'll attach like the, uh, the neuroplague will that the resurrectors fire. And then you would just be kind of screwed, because they'd start draining your power. Which, uh, back in the day was a problem, because if you accidentally saved when that was happening, you were just stuck like that. Any reloading would bring you there with all of those things on your ship, and you would just die in seconds. Fortunately, this has been reworked. So now when you die, you just respawn near where you died, but not quite there. Is that all of them? I expected more. Uh, I think that's all of them that I killed. Alright. Now that those are dealt with, I need to go find those Iacrim points. I know they have two command stations out here. I'd rather blow them up early. I don't know if you have to or not, but I always do because I don't want to risk it. They attack anyone in this system. Eventually, they'll start, just, they'll start destroying those research stations. I have to figure out a way to get past the quarantine layer. Layer? I guess it's technically a layer. Uh, I have to get past the quarantine zone. The Svalbard Explorer there is attempting to find out how to do that. All these other places are working on it. You have to, like, amass as much research as possible, so each of these research stations has a mission for you. 
But the Iacrim will blow the places up. Given time. They use those fracture cannons. But they're low they're close ranged. Yeah, but they are plasma. Start blazing them. Let's just do that. I think this might be a better bet when fighting them. And you got an outpost here. That there is not made for damage. That's just to repel you so you don't get too close. Oh, wow. An actual intact fracture cannon. I'll take that. Let's check this out. Iacrim Veil. That's pretty good. It's not super great. It's alright. I do want that. Now I have six segments so I can put them all over my ship. There will be a reason for that later. But I think they only have two stations out here, so if I find and destroy those, that's it. They probably will still send ships to blow up the other places. But I'm gonna take out their outposts regardless. You never meet the Iacrim either, because they aren't an alien race. They're sentinels. AI sent here to stop people from getting through. I guess they're not at another place? I don't know. Alright, I can speak to Svalbard at least. And, uh, get this show on the road. Nope. Oh, the Ares research. That's the only reason I didn't kill you guys before, is so that when the Iacrim come for you... Well, actually, I should probably help anyway, just so... I'll keep providing a target. See, the Iacrim will come out and start attacking. You don't want them to blow up everything, because eventually when they do... You have to keep on, like, farming them when they come after you in order to continue getting data, and you can't just make it off of those guys anymore. Welcome to the Svalbard Explorer. The bridge of the Svalbard hums with activity, and you see a familiar face giving orders as you walk in. Kate Morgenthal is excited to see you. Great to see you again. Welcome to the Svalbard. I knew our paths across again. Father's gathering intelligence about the Iacrim, trying to understand why they've blocked our access to the rest of the galaxy. He's asked me to study them here in the Heretic system. The truth is that we need help. We want to scan the Iacrim stru structures that are surrounding the Heretic Sun, but the area is infested with Terravores, and we don't dare get too close without protection. I was hoping you'd say that. All right. So they're going to orbit around and scan. You're supposed to protect them from the Terravores, which is why it's best to do it early, before they actually get going. Because the Terravores will rip them to pieces. Yeah, the Iacrim are just altering the sun. Their plan is to blow it up, I think just to get rid of the system so no one can get away. After they started showing up and trying to figure out a way to breach it, they adapted their strategy. But that's why I say you never actually encounter any aliens in this game, is because the Iacrim aren't aliens. They're just sentinels. Fulfilling programming. Alright, that's that. Great work. Finish our scan. Iacrim devices are manipulating the gravitation graviton flux of the heretic star. They've created an event horizon that prevents us from leaving the inner system. All the Iacrim devices are controlled from a central point. If we set up a research base there, we may be able to disable them. Disable them. Man, my words are still having trouble. Morgan Tall and her team from the Svalbard Explorer are setting up a research base here. The goal is to understand how to break the Iacrim quarantine. Looks like the Iacrim know that we're here. We've been monitoring the outer system, and we've detected Iacrim activity. We think they're planning to attack us, but we don't know what their target will be. Stay sharp, we'll send a message out if anything happens. Got it. We're slowly making progress, but we need more data. Go to the other stations, get help. Alright. So yeah, Tycon first. Welcome to TVX1. Tycon Ventures is out here studying Iacrim technology. If you're interested, we could use your help. All your discoveries will be placed in the public domain through our Free Knowledge Foundation trademark. There's an Iacrim artifact in the system that can help us learn much about their technology. Unfortunately, a xenophobe fleet found it before we could study it, and now they're refusing to share it. Of course, we only encountered the xenophobes once, I think, and that was just a couple ships. We're gonna fight a fleet here. It's not a world ship, sadly, but it is their big boss ship. And it has an entire fleet with it.
I come for you. There you are. been using this. Basically, if you haven't yet noticed, they're just closing in on the, uh, the other people in the system. They're, like, going to attack all of the civilization. Which is why I'm coming out here to stop them. They were slowly making their way forward. And then, of course, there's the Ark. The Ark was their big bad ship. You only encounter it in this one place as part of that mission. Otherwise, their leaders are always world ships. So let me go find where I destroyed it. Down here somewhere, I think? No, it wasn't down there. It was probably above that last, last defender. Their defenders aren't that bad. They're like mid-range capital ships. Yeah, they don't have powerful stuff. This thing did. It was using those and these. Those are powerful. Those are what their world ships fire, and it was using multiple ones. Iacrim Cybernetic Tower. It's level 12. Yeah, it says it's massive. This thing weighs 10 tons. It's an actual tower. Right, there we go. I barely even took much damage, though. I don't think any of these research places have anything for sale, either. Marvel of the Iacrim Cybernetic Tower, they immediately begin taking readings. The man in the corporate suit congratulates you. Thank you for helping us. First close look we've had at this kind of Iacrim tech. And no doubt it will help us. We've recorded our scans onto this ROM. Take it to Kate Morgenthal. Yeah, no, they just have dock services. Oh, I'm down to 177 missiles. Supplies. Oh. Well, they sell and buy things. Earthican, welcome. We seek answers to questions related to Iacrim. We seek answers to questions related to all their to their intentions. All human descendants are interested. Ringer and Earthican are united. Earthican vessel Hugens Explorer seeks answers to question. Yeah, so they helped this explorer getting questions, much like the Svalbard, but they lost contact with it. And this was where it was last located. So they are leaving log points that we gotta follow to find it. The signal we were tracking led us to an interesting discovery. The wreck of an Iacrim Sentinel with an intact AI core must have been destroyed in a battle because we found several luminous drone wrecks nearby. We've taken the Sentinel's AI core on board in hopes that it will help us to understand the Iacrim and what they're doing. We've deployed a log buoy marking this location and attached the coordinates to our next destination. That was a mistake. You never take anything related to AI onto your ships. Oh, Tycon's under attack. I wouldn't worry too much about them normally, because I already did their mission. But the more targets the Iacrim have, the fewer they will go after. Like, you know, I still need some of these places. So, uh, if they take forever to destroy any of them, it gives me more time. In studying the Sentinel's AI Corps, we've learned a lot more about the Iacrim. They're an ancient race bred to be guardians and defenders. Their role is to protect other civilizations from unspecified threats originating at the periphery of the galactic disk. Is it possible they consider us to be a threat? It seems hard to believe, considering how advanced their technology is. Chief Scientist Masood is eager to learn more from the AI. We have decided to con connect it to the Hugens mainframe in order to analyze the information more quickly. Of course, we have followed the standard quarantine procedures to ensure the AI cannot compromise our system. How much you want to bet that's going to work? Spoiler alert. It didn't. In the last few days, we have learned much from the Sentinel's AI. Masood has made progress interpreting some of the Iacrim symbols and language. Much of the information that we're finding is actually about us. Human beings, that is. It seems they're as curious about us as we are about them. More than curious, actually. They're almost obsessed. They're frantic to learn quickly, which is unnerving for an ancient race used to dealing in eons. The only problem we have to report is a fault in our communications array. The huge its mainframe indicates we will be unable to send or receive for the next seven hours, but the outage will not affect our investigation. It will, because you can't call for help or tell anyone what's happened. The Sentinel's AI has shut down for unknown reasons. We've tried several times to re-establish a connection, but to no avail. Masuda's puzzled, and he has begun an analysis of all data traffic between our mainframe and the AI. 
More worrying to us is a newly discovered fault in our main drive. The Hugens mainframe believes the drive is damaged, but that, but that it can be repaired. The onboard nanofacts are creating the necessary parts under computer protocol. Control. Computer checksums and diagnostics reveal no mainframe problems. Other manual checks show that the mainframe is correct in its diagnosis and repairs the main drive. Nevertheless, the crew is uneasy, particularly since communication is still inoperative. Go. Kept on clicking wrong buttons. The Sentinel's AI has control of the ship. It must have exploited a vulnerability in the mainframe kernel or perhaps gained physical access to the data banks. We don't even know when the AI gained control. It could have happened the second we connected. We're going to try to disable the main drive, but if everything else fails, we will attempt to overload the reactor. We have attached tracking signatures to this buoy that will lead to our current location. Whoever finds this log, please come and help us. Save yourselves. The buoy message is not from us. Crew is already dead. Save yourselves. Destroy the Hugens. There we are. Yeah, the AI got control. Clearly. And things went worse from there. So I could dock. I think I might actually... The last time I actually did this mission, it attacked me when I got near, so something might have changed, but I want to see. Dock with the Hugens Explorer, but the airlock reports zero pressure inside. Peering in through the airlock window, you see floating bodies and debris. Suddenly, you feel the Hugen engines kick in. Your stomach fills with dread. Okay. Oh, yep, there goes the Positrons. They use Positron Lancers, the Explorers, too. It's one of the reasons they're dangerous. But there's the research I need. Fortunately for me, I can lay down copious amounts of damage in a very small amount of time. We express sadness. The Earthican vessel Hugens Explorer ceases to exist. The collective diminishes, but answers exist. Information ROM exists that contain possible answers to Iacrim intentions. The sacrifice achieves purpose. Ringer Neo humans flow through the vast volume of a station perfectly adapted to zero gravity in space. The Ringers are weird, but they are friendly. I'll give them that to everyone that's not the Ares. All right, we have two left. Once I'm done doing these missions, I'm going to kill the Ares Research Outpost, because screw them. Assuming the Iacrim don't do it first. Are you interested in helping us to learn more about the Iacrim? We're studying the space-time distortion that the Iacrim are generating around the sun. Our only lead is a weak gravitation anomaly coming from somewhere in the system. We need to deploy a series of probes to pinpoint the gravitation anomaly. Each probe you deploy will tell you something about the position of the anomaly. Use that information to deploy the next probe as close as possible to the anomaly. You must deploy one probe within 10 light, light seconds of the anomaly in order for us to get any useful data. Um, what happened there? I just missed the last part. There it is. Okay, so I just have to find somewhere to deploy this to find a weird gravitation anomaly. So, we gotta get a reference point. I have six probes. Okay. Anomaly is a hundred away? Really? Is there a way I can actually check? Oh, right, yeah, I can just click on this. Okay. So is that saying the anomaly is actually 100 away? Let's find out. I think that's 100 light seconds. It is. Okay, so we have two. That one is 200, this one's 100. Let me find a place that's 100 away on that one, 256 on the other. I think it's right here. Or at least very close. Probe launch, gravitation anomaly, anomaly detected. Yeah, I'm nine away from it. Turn to base for data analysis. Nice. Data you gathered on the gravitation anomaly is amazing. It looks like the Iacrim can affect the core of a star. I think we knew that already, but whatever. Oh yeah, I don't know if I said it before. These gems that I have, the Gem of Despair and the Gem of Fury, I don't know what one of them does, but I know that the other one can send you to a random place in here. Or it sends you to, like, a station with six or twelve stargates or something to just random locations around the entire game. 
I don't plan on using it. I always keep them around for some reason. I can never figure out why, but I do. But that's what those do, if anyone's curious. One million on the Pilgrim's Aid. I have no money. I can just give you the, the gems. I don't need them. Alright. So they have this whole annoying thing about trying to get info out of an Iacrim point out here in a station. But it's the most annoying puzzle I have ever done in anything. So the idea is you get this thing's resistance. You have to like increase a virus load into this to get its resistance down to uh, resistance is zero. Neural damage must be 10 or less. And that's it. And so see, you increase the virus your virus starts depleting, it starts getting hurt, and the neural damage increases. Eventually, it figures out how to survive, so you have to get, like, the perfect balance, I guess, between how much virus you put into it and how well it can fight back against it, because it'll start repairing itself. But you also only have so much virus. Yeah, see, it's repairing its neural damage right now. Oh, and it's going back up. It's difficult, and I might fail it. If I do, it doesn't matter. I will fail the mission, but I'm not all that worried about it. Holy cow, am I going to get it? Maybe not. tough to tell. It's just so constant. Oh, I'm running out of virus. No, 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 no. Dang it. You know what? Screw this. I'm just gonna go all the way. We're gonna kill this thing. I'm gonna fail the mission, but at least it'll be off of the record, and then I can just work from there. I think I might have enough data anyway. I just do this a couple times until I run out of virus or it's permanently destroyed. I know, because I failed it in the past. I managed to get it once, and it took me forever to do it right, and I hated doing it, and I never wanted to do it again. There we go. You're destroyed. I didn't subdue the AI. I can't even damage it. Arrow proved to be a blessing in some way. Go with Domina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so now I think I might have enough info. We'll see. We'll analyze the data, see if it can help us break the iCrim quarantine. Wait here, take a look. That's it, that's the missing piece. With all the data you've gathered, we now understand how the iCrim have created the quarantine. The event horizon that keeps us from leaving will collapse as soon as we disable the iCrim manipulators deployed around the heretic sun. All the iCrim manipulators are controlled from this position. We should be able to order the manipulators to shut down. That'll break the quarantine standby. Okay, Morgantel's team connects their equipment to the alien machinery. They issue commands, and the alien symbols around the chamber begin to flash in unison. Suddenly, the omnipresent hum of gigantic machinery changes pitch and begins to die down. We've done it. The quarantine is broken. I'll get a message to St. Katz. This is a historic moment for the human race. Now you're free to continue your journey to the core. Thanks for your help. We couldn't have done it without you. I hope to see you again someday. And that's it. These things are no longer firing. Core is shut down. Maybe they weren't blowing up the sun, they were just using it to stop, but I think they did plan to blow it up originally. Once an Aries, always an Aries, so, uh, bye bye Who's that? I wonder, what was he doing out there? Alright, well, I gotta go stop by the ringers, because that lets me get to Heretic 3, but there's something waiting for me there. The one thing in the game that uses the Quantum Sphere Disintegrator. Not the ringers. Who, uh, who has great dock services? Is it you guys? Yep. This stuff. This is Disintegration Immune. It's the only reason I've kept it around, because that thing out there will one-shot me if I'm not using it.
we go. This is the last fight. I can use this from a distance. It's the Iacrim command ship. The biggest boss in the game. Reasonably scary. There it is. Let's see if we can kill it from a distance. Alright, he's deployed his allies. Alright, you. Got him. That wasn't that bad. I think I might be able to, uh... Wow, that's a lot. There's the Quantum Sphere shells. Oh, they do do antimatter damage. I was never certain of that. Now I know. A hundred tons. 12 tons. That's the strongest armor. I need that thing. I want to know what that does, though. Tracking disintegration. Um, let me jettison these, because I don't need them. Or that. Or any of this. Because I think I can still... scan these to find out what they are. Iacrim Repeller. Alright, that's what their outposts use, and if you get too close to the command ship, it'll push you back with that. Not sophisticated enough. That is probably the disintegrator, but I wouldn't swear to that. Let's jettison both of those. See if I can figure out what this thing is. Nope. I have no clue what that is. And I probably never will. Alright, well the Stargate's not active. To make sure you have to kill that thing to proceed. Um, Doctor the Heretic Gate... The gate has been deactivated ever since the ancient races of the galaxy quarantined human space. It's the only way to get to the galactic core. In the alien control room of the Heretic Gate, use that. Install the alien hyperglyph rod. The machines in the control room hum with energy. The Stargate spins slowly to life. Your journey to the galactic core continues. Alright. I'm gonna do something real quick. We're just gonna... Might be able to use those. The rest of this can, uh, can jump away. And this is really just a thing I do every game. There we go. That took me longer than it would than it would appear. I cut it. If that wasn't obvious. Well, we're closing in right on the end here. And boom. All right. I got rid of all the stuff just because I didn't really need it. Like, if, if, thinking about how it would work, right? You, why would you carry around a bunch of garbage if you're leaving human space? You wouldn't need any identification or maps for certain. All you need is fuel and weapons. And analyzers, potentially. But, uh, yeah, that is that. So, uh, I think that's that. Mission's all done. Mission's all done. D nope. Go in. In. There we go. Left human space on a journey to the Galactic Core, visit 56 star systems, destroyed 6,000 enemy ships, including an Iacrim command ship. To be continued. I was a syndicate lieutenant, a fleet captain, a major, a principal agent. I won't... Was that the highest? I can't remember about that. I wasn't a syndicate lord, though. I got no clue how you would be. Left human space. I made a lot of money. Of every kind. Except Euros. 19 hours. It's a long game. I'll give it that. My achievements and my regrets. Well, Volkov found his wife, but he's the one person that went with me that lived. Rama died. Yeah, I helped the Hwari out. I was beaten by the Slicer. I never did kill that thing, which annoys me still. 
I did destroy the Chronosaurus, helped Fiona, and Korolov, Point Juno, Raisu. Did a lot of stuff for the uh, Pacific. Whoops. Hold up. There we go. Did a lot of stuff for a lot of people. Destroyed the Antarctica, Cyclops Lab. Did a lot of things. Lost Ellen Quinn, sadly. Visited Tranquility Base. That's the moon. I destroyed two friendly stations. Well, one was the Ares, I know that. The other one must... No, it couldn't have been the Antarctica. I don't know who the other one I blew up was. I'd have to think that over. Not sure. 61 friendly ships. That had to be by accident, most of the time. And Black Market. Freighters. Actually, I killed a lot of them. I made 5 million profit off of arms. 8 game resurrections. Never bought life insurance or used Pilgrim's Aid at all. Declared a foreign agent by the Eurasian Diarchy. Find 22,000 credits by the North Atlantic Union. Oh right, that was for destroying that stupid gunship. Wanted by the Eurasian Diarchy for the destruction of an Imperator-class destroyer. Yeah, they didn't like me. Looks like the Invincible class deflector took almost the most. R9 did more, because I had it for so long. Invincible took a beating. Class 1 deflector took 9 points of damage? That was it? <laughs> and then Octocarbide was my most damaged armor. Class 5 took a bunch, too. Xenophobe Arc. Dragon Slaver. Imperator. A mine layer. I forgot about those things. I thought I took out two of those. A Molotov. Goron Behemoth. A mammoth Frigate. I'm not certain what a Mammoth Frigate is. I do remember that Goron Behemoth, though. That was actually a pain at the time. I think that was the friendly gunship from the Africans. One of my Autons. Yeah, I blew up a lot of stuff. And a lot of stations. A lot of stations. Fortress of the Sharon Pirates. I only took out one Goron layer, because there were never any others. 56 systems. Used all of the extensions. Had all my Ultra equipment. Not a lot of final items, intentionally. And there's all my few friendly ships and stations. ED Research Lab. What's the ED Research Lab? Eurasian Diarchy Research Lab. That's right, I did blow that thing up. All my items installed. Yeah, we... We get the gist of that. I had a lot of thanks. All my different missions. One failed. Thanks for having that permanent blot on my record. This is really why I do all the missions I can. It's just for this screen here. For no reason at all. I just like seeing it. 73 slaves... Freed. 85 psionics offered to Domina. That's a lot. I use Shatter 10 times? Data extraction hack. That's not a power. Whatever. I used Restore the most, Ingenuity quite a bit, and then Defend a lot. The rest of them were very situational. Strength and there's just never almost a reason for it. Every time I could use it, Restore is more useful. Oh, that's that penitent one I took over for like two seconds. What did I fire the most? The multi-target blaster, probably, because it fired three... Nope, Omnidirectional Tev-9 fired more. Significantly. And that's that. Okay, let me, um... See if I can find the Xenophobes here on the list of ships. If anyone wants to see me do, um... Eternity Port, I could. I don't know if there's really much else you'd see. Because basically... Oh man, terrifying luminous stuff. Basically, everything... In Eternity Port, is in there's a world ship. That's the kind of thing. That's how it fires. It's like an arc, but faster. Those will destroy entire stations, and they have fleets about the size of the arcs one with them, and they roll around randomly just blowing people up. They're pretty scary, even like endgame capital ship things. Are these all the other people that played? I think so. Oh, that was random. I'm just replicating them. Much replication. Swarm. They're gonna go find and kill something. Well, basically, if anyone wants to see me play Eternity Port, I could, but you wouldn't see anything new, basically. Like, you'd see the new storyline, you'd see how Luminous is supposed to end, but all the systems, the enemies, the allies and stuff, I've already done it all, basically, now, uh, in the base game, because Near Stars is an expansion you can get. So, yeah, there is that. 
Uh, other than that, I think that's all for the game. I hope you all enjoyed it. I love this game. I'm happy to have played it here. And to, I mean, man, I still regret not finishing that arena properly. I wanted to. I always want to. But the fact that now when you fail a mission, it's just failed forever because it saves over it. It can be kind of a big gut punch in that particular quest line, but it's whatever. I made it through Major Tom. That's pretty funny. Uh, well, regardless, thank you all for watching. If anyone did, uh, I was glad to play it, and I'll see you all in the next one.